The Fed just raised the rates again. The fifth straight time, folks. Three basis points. This is a big old increase, as has been all of the increases, right? It feels like interest rates have went from like 3% to over 6% overnight. And we got a lot of people in real estate freaking out. We got a lot of people calling for a real estate crash. We got a lot of people running scared. But I'm here to tell you that what is happening with these Fed rate hikes, what just happened yesterday, this is going to make housing investors, real estate people, people like me, people like a lot of you out there who are investing in the game. This is going to make us millions because it's creating a very unique once in a generation opportunity. Let's talk about it. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. You're looking at this Chris Hemsworth photo. Thor. You're like, dang, that is the sexiest dude in the world. And you know what? You're wrong. This dude, sure, he's a chiseled beast. But I am here to tell you he is the second sexiest dude in the world. You want to know why? Because this dude right here is the sexiest dude in the world. Jerome Powell, baby, sex god, the chairman of the Fed, all right? That dude is the sexiest dude on the planet, folks, because this man is going to make me millions. Hopefully, he's going to make some of you millions, okay? This guy's plan is to beat the hell out of inflation, okay? He don't like inflation, folks. I don't really like inflation that much either, right? Gas, food. It's insane out there right now. Building supplies, okay? Inflation is massive. And the Fed is hell-bent on stopping inflation. And they're doing that by raising interest rates, right? And mortgage rates are going crazy, okay? Now, point of clarification, just so everyone else uh, is on the same page as me, right? Uh, this is... This is fairly common knowledge, but in case you're, you're not aware, because there are some people who don't understand this exactly, the Fed does not actually control your mortgage rates, okay, directly. They don't, okay? What the Fed does with all these interest rate hikes, right? We talked. They just increased them again, three basis points for the fifth, fifth increase in a friggin' row, okay? These are like historically large uh, increases, right? And it's creating havoc in the markets, Yada, yada, okay? But that does not directly uh, increase the mortgage rates, right? They don't specifically say like, hey, mortgage rates are 3%, now they're 6 It doesn't work that way. Uh, what this is, is this is the money. Uh, this is the cost, uh, the interest that is charged on the money that banks lend each other, right? Uh, and then from there, banks react. And then they actually, lenders, done things like that, they're actually... Um, moving the needle on your mortgage rates, right? So it's not like they say, hey, uh, this is going up today, therefore your mortgage specifically went up half a percentage point, right? That is not specifically the case, right? Just so we're all clear. But what is happening is uh, banks have reacted, lenders have reacted, and it looks like overnight, it feels like overnight, dude, uh, rates went from like 3% to 6%, and a lot of people are like, ah! Because housing affordability, dude, it's like super low right now. It's very tough out there. And I'm here to tell you, this is the time that investors are going to make a killing. You might be like, that don't make no sense. You just said stuff is super unaffordable, James. I'm so confused. Please enlighten me on your crazy ass thought process. Boom. Thank you for asking. I shall do that now. Okay. First of all, first thing I want to say, there's a phrase. We make money when there's blood in the streets, and we do, folks. I got into real estate in 09, okay? It's 2022 right now. What is that, like 13, almost 14 years ago, okay? When I got into the game, we were facing the worst housing crash probably ever, right? At least in like the last 50 to 100 years, okay? And I made millions, okay? I made millions of dollars 
uh, getting into the business at that time, right? Over the last 13 years, dude, we have seen like some pretty crazy stuff happening with the market. It has moved all crazy, right? I got into the game, right? Worst market, lowest prices. Uh, nobody wanted to buy housing. You couldn't get loans, right? It was just like chaos, right? Total destruction of the housing market. And then you fast forward uh, to like late 2021, beginning of 2022, and it's the most insane market ever. Pricing is basically at an all-time high. Interest rates are at an all-time low. Buyers are literally fighting to the death, making blind above list price offers on properties. Like it's insane, right? And then everything else started inflating crazily, right? We've all seen building materials, gas, food. It's all went up like crazy. A la sex god Jerome Paul comes in like, no, not on my watch, MFers. And he started, uh, you know, this policy to continue to uh, raise the rates and get inflation to stop. They're trying to curb inflation, okay? So where we're at right now is very unique and this like unique set of circumstances creates an incredible opportunity for me and you okay so real estate goes way 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 up but now it's kind of unaffordable because the rates have like pretty much doubled so now real estate is coming back down right over the last few months we've seen it anybody paying attention to the market working in the business has seen uh, sellers cutting prices. Prices are going down, down, down. But here is why it's so good for investors, right? Not only are the prices on housing going way, way down, inflation is still kicking our butts, and a lot of stuff out there is incredibly expensive. One of those things is rent. And right now, do you know the difference between a lot of investors out there and first-time home buyers? First-time home buyers, they don't buy houses with cash, folks. They buy houses with loans. And right now, the loan cost is so high. It's pricing a lot of these first-time home buyers, owner-occupant buyers. They're getting priced out of the market. They're unable to afford the still high cost of housing, which is rapidly going down. But rates have gone up so much more, they still can't afford them, even though the prices are a little bit lower now than they were like six, eight months ago, right? So you have all of these people out there uh, who can't buy. They're not in the market. They still have to rent. Rents are through the roof, okay? So think about that. You're a cash investor out there. Cost of housing's going down. Demand for housing going down, but rates usually go the same, or uh, rent rates, right? Rent rates usually go the same direction, but they're not. They're still going up. So our housing is going like this, and our rents are going like this. Guys, do the math. If you could pick up the houses really, really low and pick up rents that are really, really high from your tenants, it is the best of both worlds, right? And here's the kicker. Uh, Fannie Mae, just like a week ago, dude, they just put out their projections. They see rates coming back down. They see the rates going from like six uh, to like four, seven, four, two, four, three, somewhere in there uh, in 2023, right? So we have a very unique window of opportunity right now for cash investors to go in, make low ball, aggressive offers, pick up properties for cash at the lowest prices we've seen in an incredibly long time, while at the same time seeing rents at some of the highest rates we've ever seen, right? So you get the deals for as low as we've seen in a long time, and then you charge rents for as high as we've seen in a long time at the same time. That equates to people like me, people like you making millions. And then... When the interest rates, the mortgage interest rates eventually come down, you got choices. At that point, you could do cash out refinances and continue to hold, number one. Or number two, if interest rates, mortgage interest rates come back down, okay, what happens then? The demand to buy housing goes back up because affordability is now down. Demand goes up. What else goes back up? Theoretically, the value of the houses you guys bought 
when affordability was in an all-time low and a lot of those first-time home buyers were not in the market, right? So pick it up now at a steep discount, charge record high rents. When adjustments happen, mortgage rates go down, demand goes back up. At that point, you either take advantage of the new rates, refinance, get all your capital back, and probably then some, because theoretically, if the prices are going up, your property should appraise for more than you purchased them for, right? A little bit of cash out refi action without even having to force appreciate and do any renovations, or simply move your tenants out and then sell them because the pricing is going to be up. And folks... Uh, last thing I want to say about this unique opportunity, you might be like, well, yeah, dude, that sounds great, bro, but I don't have millions of dollars in cash just sitting around. That's why I invest in real estate. I get into the housing game so I can get loans too, bro. I'm not sitting on freaking $900,000 to go do that, James. Maybe you need that kind of money where you live, but there's a lot of markets in the USA where you can buy properties for freaking next to nothing. The market that I made millions in during the last crash, folks, right now we could go in and pick up properties for cash for under a hundred thousand. If we take properties that are about a hundred thousand, we're looking at right now a purchase price all in investment of like a hundred K and we're getting rents in the sixteen to seventeen hundred dollar a month range right so if you're sitting on some cash it's not nearly enough maybe where you live but there are markets out there where it could and you could invest in out of state and oh guess what my company just so happens to be the number one company in our market helping people invest in out of state real estate i've sold over 200 million dollars worth of this stuff and if you're interested in buying stuff cash for around 100k getting 16 1700 dollars a month making a ton of cash flow over the next few years while we wait for the market to turn i want you to go ahead and click the notes below and book a free call at my team and we'll talk you through the process because we've got it all set up for you property acquisition services property management property analysis renovation services rental property insurance we are a one-stop shop let's make that money thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment